Hi, Michael McKinnon, Security Advisor at AVG, here to talk to you about geotagging. Did you know that when you take photographs and share them online through social media, and I'm talking about photographs that you take with your smartphone and your tablet as well as your traditional camera, that these photographs and also sometimes the posts themselves can contain geographic location of where you are. Now at best, this might simply mean that you're revealing to the world your secret fishing spot or your annual camping ground spot, but at worst, it might be putting you in the path of stalkers and bullies, perhaps even ex-partners. And of course, there's a lot of criminal activity that can go around in terms of using this information that you're disclosing to the public. And you need to also think about the, this geo, geographical location being stored and kept for long periods of time and what are the long-term privacy implications of that. So how does geotagging actually work? Well, it works through the storage of what's known as EXIF data, traditionally on photographic images, which are in the form of JPEG files. Now EXIF stands for Exchangeable Image File Format, and it simply refers to an extra component of information that is added to the image files themselves by the device that took the photo. So if it's your smartphone, and you take a photo with your smartphone and location services are turned on, that actual photographic image can contain some extra information which may contain the GPS coordinates of where that photo was actually taken. And so the problem here is when you share that photo, you're also revealing the location of where you are. This EXIF information is also referred to as a bit of metadata. Metadata, again, referring to the same thing, that it's an extra piece of data that's added to the image. So how can you protect yourself from divulging your geographic location inadvertently? And here are a few tips for you. First of all, on all of your devices, including cameras that have this feature, and some cameras in fact even have built-in GPS receivers these days, if you look in the menu of the camera, you can disable this option so that the, the EXIF information and specifically the geographic location information contained within that is turned off and doesn't get recorded with each of the images. So what can you do to stop inadvertently sharing your geographic location with others? Well, first of all, I'd like to mention that if you're building a historical collection of photographs that you take, stripping the geographic location out of them or disabling your devices so it doesn't actually store that information in the first place may not be a terribly good idea longer term. The reason for this is that as time goes by and you want to reflect on your old photographs, it can actually be really useful to see where those photographs were taken to give you some context. And certainly as technology improves and we'll be able to reflect on our photo libraries better in the future, it's actually quite good to have geotagging information contained in the photos. The real issue of course comes about when we're sharing those photos and making them public and this is when we're disclosing that geographic information. So think about whether you want to disable the uh, functions on your devices such as your camera and some new cameras have GPS receivers built in. So look at the configuration of your camera and you may be able to turn that off if you want to. But again, think about the ramifications of that for your full library uh, in total. The next thing though is that what you definitely want to do is remove the geographic geographic location or the EXIF data from images that you upload to social media networks in particular and especially anything that's going to be posted on a public website and made publicly available. Um, apps like ABG's Image Shrinker for Android is a good choice for this. It not only shrinks the image down but also removes that information. And also think about not only images and photos but also if you're using a social media app like a Twitter app or a Facebook app on a mobile device. These also have options for including the location in text and other types of posts as well, which you may want to disable and look at the privacy settings of those apps as well to help you. For more great tips like this, please visit our website, blogs.avg.com. Thank you.